Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of Sidetracked for Rift. This is going to be a bit more lower focus than other episodes, because the quest chain in focus is all about the Dwarves, the Moonshade Highlands, Hammernell, and the Bloodstorm. As such, I will be showing off all the quest text related to this quest chain, so feel free to pause the video to read it at your leisure. The first quest in the chain is called To Delve is to Know, and it is available at level 15 for both the Defiance and the Guardians. Players above level 15 can still do this quest, but will be mentored down to that level while doing it. For the Defiance, the quest giver, Ra Kulun, can be found in the Katari Command Center in Meridian. He tells the player of reports about new artifacts found in the Moonshade Highlands and scattered across Talara. Ron tells the player to find an artifact outside of Meridian, which teleports the player to the Moonshade Highlands. There, the player finds another quest giver named Kovoro Zarleth, who asks the player to investigate some artifacts around the Time Sworn Cliffs. Are you ready? He warns the player to be careful, as the artifacts are guarded by dangerous auras, but they seem to be removed or bugged because nothing happened while I was doing this quest. The player must touch the three artifacts, each seemingly increasing his strength, before he reaches the entrance of a cave that is blocked by a giant boulder. Using his newfound abilities, the player must smash through the boulder and explore the tunnel. Further down the passage, another boulder blocks the player's way, this time guarded by a rock golem. Behind the boulder, the player finds a small opening, full of tree ends, in which he is tasked to look for clues. The player finds a bunch of regions, used for magical experiments, a bedroll, a dwarf skeleton, a stein, and more test equipment. The clues lead the player even further down the cavern, through a small army of plant people towards the runic Athenaeum.
To anyone familiar with PvP in Rift, the Runic Library will be very familiar, as it is the same library that houses one of the best Warfronts in the game. This version of the library, however, includes a portal, allowing players to teleport to it whenever necessary. Within the Runic Library, the player meets an ancient dwarf named Voradrin, who informs the player about another dwarven library in Hammernell that fell to Achilleos' corruption. The two discuss that a great force is altering Talara's history, as books in the library keep changing to reflect other possible outcomes for historical events. In an attempt to fight off the evil forces that plagued Talara, Voradrin attempted to resurrect Great Dwarf Army, but failed, realizing that his job is to guard the library instead. He offers a daily quest that involves collecting samples from the para-elemental hybrids that litter the tunnel leading up to the runic Athenaeum. This is worth picking up, as the player will be told to run back through the tunnel once more anyway. To continue the main quest, the player must do some research on the Rune Masters that guard the library. The tome explaining the Rune Masters' history also talks about the Master Runes, which each represent an important facet of Dwarven philosophy. While a normal Dwarf may devote his or herself to one of the main runes, the Rune Masters devote themselves to all of the life lessons that the runes represent. Strength, loyalty, unity, and majesty to name a few. Truth and fortune. After reading the extensive tome, Voradrin advises the player to bear witness to his memory of when Voradrin was chosen by Baral to be the arbiter of the runic Athenium. In the memory, Barot takes the form of a gigantic corgi and sets Voradrin on his path. Another memory Voradrin asks the player to witness is the creation of the tunnel leading to the library. Forgen remembers that his companions were much more focused on mining gold than in following the orders of Baro. Nevertheless, Forgen commits them to digging out the side of the mountain.
Action! The player is tasked with witnessing yet another memory, this time about the gathering of the Rune Masters. Captain Foreshadowing dictates that the Rune Masters and Miners betrayed Vordran, leaving the player to defend him from his embodied memories. Strangely enough, Vordran explains that his memory is not actually what happened, and is another example of the past being changed. He tells the player to investigate a series of tomes that explain the bindings of blood, which were the events in which heroes sealed away the bloodstorm. Each tome reveals that something is wrong with the past, as certain heroes are said to have fought against the Bloodstorm when in reality, they did not. Vordren explains that the player must go out into the world to discover the sources of these changes, which I will discuss in part 2 of this video. First of all, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give us a like, 
or leave us a comment in the comment section below. If you'd like to see more episodes of Sidetracked, feel free to shoot me a message on Twitter or Facebook at Panamanana and let me know. Other than that, we'll see you guys next time for part 2 of this video.